Steve. I am Bob. This is Jay. And we are Alpha Quadrant 6, a science fiction review show. And on this episode, we're going to be reviewing the Disney series Moon Knight. That's Moon Knigget, K-N-I-G-H-T. <laughs> Moon Knight. It's a superhero movie occurring in the Marvel Universe, but it's it's. I thought it was very different than pretty much any other superhero Absolutely. series that's been out there. Um, it is starring Oscar Isaac, and I will say that he is fabulous in this series. Best thing about it. It, it really Amazing. is. Amazing. Totally. I mean, I see this as a vehicle for his acting. That's what this series mm -hmm. is. You know, everything it's else a good is... Way to look yeah, it really it. is just incidental, in my opinion. Um, it's, it's a very atypical superhero and an atypical superhero series, so don't go in thinking you're going to get a lot of over-the-top superpowers and a lot of action and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> I think it is more of a psychological thriller mm -hmm. yeah. in a lot of ways. Yeah. Uh, and again, it sort of maximizes, you know, Oscar Isaac's amazing acting chops. Uh, so overall, I think I liked it better than you guys from what we've chatted before, you know, before the yeah. show. But uh, I liked it because, I, again, I, I like, like shows that are different. I like to go in uh, to a show and get something that is not just a retread of what other, other series or other uh, shows have done. And, uh, and I'm very – if you give me something new and different, I'm very tolerant – of of not meeting expectations because that's kind of the whole point, right? Um, so I would, if you're looking for that kind of a thing, a new experience, uh, and and you know, just don't go in saying this. This is I demand this kind of entertainment for my superhero movies. As long as you go in flexible, I think you'll enjoy it. All right, I, I enjoyed the series, mm -hmm. um, but it had problems. It has its problems. It it loses its way. At one point, you know, mm. it kind of, kind of like that loses its rhythm. Um, you know, it starts off doing one thing and then it kind of goes into another direction, which I, I, I felt didn't wasn't an improvement. And then it does get a little strange. So I was, uh, yeah, I was okay with the evolution of the plot. I think I agree with you. Like the one weakness, the one thing that didn't wow me about the series was the strangeness was one notch or maybe two beyond where they should have gone. Yeah, I agree. Um, but you know, so that that's that to me. That's that was a minor quibble. You know, I thought that that took away a little bit of the grittiness of the series. Uh, but I mean, from a recommendation standpoint, I would say that this one is okay to pass. You don't have to see this TV show. No, but I but I I would recommend watching it if you like. Um, you know, if you like shows that are that are doing something new, doing something unusual. Again, you don't go in with a very narrow conception of what a superhero you know, show is supposed to be. Uh, and again, I think the acting alone the was, acting worth is, the, was worth he, the price he, of, of entry. Without a doubt, he's fantastic. But yeah. you know, it, it didn't have the legs. It, you know, it was only six episodes. By the yeah, way, yeah, I know, right? it was very so, short. You know, it, in my opinion, like being able to throw out six episodes of a show, like it, it dropped off too quickly just for six episodes. If they had like fifteen episodes in the last few had issues, that's different, you know? So I think they, they did lose their way a little bit here. Um, but overall, it was fun. It was fun. But, yeah. you know, with the, with the glut of shows that we have today, you know, there's other, there's other options that you could have out there. They kept me the coming time. back. I, yeah. I was, I... yeah, I mean, I was, I was disappointed. It didn't, it didn't suck me in. I wasn't really looking forward to it. Oscar Isaac, absolutely. This, the guy, is, I've never seen somebody's so good at flipping between two different characters and everything about him just seemed to change. And you instantly, in a nanosecond, you knew who he was. He really, that's all he needed to do was little flip and oh my God, how did he even do that? Definitely. Um, are we in spoiler area no, now? No. no spoiler, all right. So, um, but it still, it did kind of drop off for me. I didn't, wasn't necessarily even looking forward to it. I forgot about it for a little while. Oh yeah, let's watch the rest of those. I mean, it's, it was a fun watch. It was different. And I think I would like to know if I had listened, like if I knew what Steve had said earlier on and that this is this is atypical, it's more psychological, it's a little bit slower, it's not overpowered superpowers. If I knew all that going in, it would I think it could have reset my expectations and yeah. I might have enjoyed it a little bit more. But as but I don't know what I was expecting, but it was a Marvel superhero series. Okay, that sets expectations. Yeah, those words. Those out. I was, you know, I was I don't know what I was expecting, but it wasn't yeah. what I got. And and that might have impacted it, but I think it's still worth seeing. And I think if you actually have a history of, of Moon Knight, and uh, like it before, you know, before this, I think you would be more excited about it as well. Mm -hmm. But I think it's worth seeing, just not, you know, 
uh, just not what I expected. And mm-hmm. and and keep in mind what Steve said. And I think you might you might enjoy it and might might find it more worthwhile than I did. Mm-hmm. All right, let's do the spoilers. All right, let's get into some spoilers. So, okay. All right, here's, all right. Let, me, let me start. Go ahead, Jay. This is where the show dropped off for me. When the moment that that Mark gets shot and dies, that, that whole segment where they yeah. go into the, after, the, the underworld. Yeah, and that, the, yeah. The hippo was kind of a jokey character when it should have been a very, you know, it shouldn't have been so um, lighthearted. You know, that, that, so that and, character and almost cute. was the god of women and children. And so they, they, she was acting like a child. So that's, Steve, I, I, I get you, I get what you're saying, because it's hard to take. Uh, so we should say that the the theme of the show is that the the ancient Egyptian gods are real, right? So the And Moon Knight is an avatar of one of the Egyptian gods. And he, the main right. villain is an avatar of an enemy Egyptian god. And they have a different concept of justice. Moon Knight, the, his concept is, you know, his, he's the avatar of the god who feels you punish people when they do something wrong. The other god was you punish people before they do something wrong. So you're basically reading their whole life. And if at any point they do something bad enough, you kill them before they have a chance to do it. Mm-hmm. So, you know, that's a very dark, Interesting philosophical very difference. dark god. Yeah. But the, the show starts off, though, in a really cool way, right? There's an odd yeah. thing going on in Steven's life where he has like this sleep disorder and you know, slow, slow reveal that, you know, he's got another mind in him yes. and, you know, there's a superhero aspect to it. He's flipping back and forth between two personalities. And then, yeah. like, the middle part of the show, I thought was doing a pretty interesting job. You know, they're yeah. going on, like, this this interesting adventure, like, they have a goal to, to you know, get, they want to get the, the idol. You know, I thought that was fun and interesting. But then it just started to become cheesier and a little yeah, bit... Yeah. It lost its original vibe that it set up. If it stayed there, it could have been much better. I, I agree with you. I thought the part of the series, that part of the series was better. And so, you know, the, again, the strength is that Oscar Isaac does a fantastic job of playing these two personalities that are sharing the same body. Mark, who is the superhero, Moon Knight, who is a experienced, you know, fighter and superhero, and Steve... Stephen, who is a nerdy Egyptologist mm-hmm. who speaks with a British accent, you know, Mark speaks with an American accent. They have a completely different body language, completely different vibe. Yeah. As Bob said, you know who, which character he is without him even having to say a word. Mm-hmm. It was brilliant. Um, and I love that. I like the villain. Again, I like the villains who think that they're the good guy. And, yeah, right. And Ethan Hawke played a wonderful villain. Oh, he, he nailed it. Great, he nailed, nailed job, it. Man. did a really good job. I enjoyed that whole thing. When he died, it became a very different series, and, mm-hmm. and I agree. I didn't like that part as much. I I have a very low tolerance for shows where you are in, you don't know if you're in a dream world or mm-hmm. the real world or what's going yeah. on. It's like, okay, you could do a little bit of that maybe if it makes sense for the plot, but when you do it too much, it's like, I don't, why, why do I care about what's happening? And now? also, it didn't even have any teeth because it wasn't like Ethan Hawke's character was driving that alternate reality yeah. of him being in the psych ward, which I originally thought like, oh, this is him just messing with him. It turned out to just be like this weird interstitial. Metaphor, yeah. yeah, the whole thing was a metaphor yeah. to, to him transitioning to the afterlife, which was so stupid. And it would be cool if like, there was a moment where you thought maybe this was the reality. Like, yeah, which one is the reality? But of there was course. never any doubt as to which one right, was the reality. Right. Yep. You know, and then you learn that he's dead and this is the afterlife, which you, but you have to play that card very carefully and very rarely. Uh, and so, but they didn't play it carefully. They didn't. I know. I agree. Yeah. So I, that was the weakest part of the season. I, I will grant you that it didn't ruin this the season for me, but it was absolutely the weakest part. Yeah, of it. it was, and it took a long time too. Like they were on that boat too long, way too long, yeah, way like, too long. That should have been half of one episode or something like that. Yeah. Where yes, yeah, I agree with that. And that and and they they could have tightened that up a lot, and they could have. You know, emphasized more of the James Bond kind of world, yes. world kind of intrigue yeah. going. You know, and they have absolutely. they set up something amazing. I mean, this idea that all the all the Egyptian gods have human avatars, yeah. and that 
you know, there, there's the potential for these relationships and drama mm-hmm. between all of them. And conflict, yeah. yeah. Yeah, they explore they, that a little bit more. Exactly. And and you know, that that room, you know, that that magic room yeah. where like all the magic has to happen, that you know, they keep the statues and everything. Like, you know, they end up like wrecking that room, which I thought, oh really? They're gonna get rid of that? Like at least that was a cool place for cool things to happen. Yeah, you yeah. know, yeah. So I felt like the writing got weaker as it went on. It started pretty strong and started yeah. to be provocative, and then it just fell off into like this boring kind of sloppy thing that I was waiting to end. Yeah, I mean, I agree with that again. That that got very weak. I thought that they pulled it back. They pulled it pulled it out a little bit at the very end. Um, they kind of pulled it together and to, so that it made sense and it was became more interesting. I liked learning about the origin of the characters, like the why, yeah, the story was know. interesting. Yeah, again, they could have they could have done it more efficiently. And then they tease us at the very end with a third persona, you know, which... He was the, the entity inside the coffin that was shaking. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That was one, one of the hints. And there's been multiple hints that there was a third persona. Yeah, yeah, um, I just didn't, was, like, I didn't like any of that. Now we're going to have another persona in there. Like, now the guy is truly... A psycho- well, he's cracked. I mean, he's that's cracked. The, to me, that's the story, though. So if, if you pull right. back and you think... What the story that we're being told is the psychological drama going on inside this guy's head. Mm-hmm. Then it all does hold together and make sense. And, and that when, that part of the series where you think the story fell apart really was getting to the meat of his psychological mess yeah. Yeah. inside his head. If you just look at it that way, it holds together much better. Mm-hmm. And it's, but you have to you have to look at the story that way. But I understand. But whenever you have to have things put in context that way like you know in hindsight you can make that determination yeah. but as i'm experiencing any tv show yeah. it has to tell itself correctly yeah and if it doesn't and you have to kind of retcon it in your own head well, well, then, well then they didn't I, do a good job of I telling the story you, we kind of knew at that point that that's what the story was about it was more about his internal psychological struggle than it was a big the, part of the story but it wasn't the whole story i mean there is a, there is a definite morality question in there that they were yeah. they were playing up um, I hear you. The balance was off at the end. They, they could have balanced it. Better. I didn't like the special effects either. I thought the special effects were, were kind of cheesy looking. You know, I, the, I didn't notice them one way or the other. Yeah, I didn't well, feel good about and those. And if you look at it a little bit more superficially like I do, yeah. <laughs> the powers were too underwhelming. I mean, this is an avatar, a superhero of an Egyptian god. All right, he looks like a mummy. That's kind of cool. But what yeah, is, I love the costume. The costume was, in, was interesting, but I mean... For a superhero, I, I I don't need to have a Hulk level or Thor level or whatever, Apparently Superman level. No, it doesn't have to be <laughs> no, that high. Knew, Bob, he, he could have had a few other things had that he did. One or two more notches up. What is what is he? He could heal, he's he's a good he's a good kung fu fighter, and he's very adroit, very dexterous. And he can fly. Well, Hello. He, well I mean, was that more gliding or was that fly? Was that real no, fly? No, he was fly. When, he when was his fly. wife became Not an avatar, enough. I thought her powers were pretty cool. Like she had she, some interesting things yeah, going yeah, yeah. on. She was, she was really cool. I just need... Just one notch more, at least, of a power. Not just like, a, not, not like a you know Captain America super, you know super athletic type of stuff. I want Meh. a little bit more. Just a little bit. It doesn't have to be super. He's super. not asking for. I mostly. like low powered <laughs> superheroes. Again, the stakes are higher. There's low power, and then there's underpowered. I think they were crossing the line into underpowered. No, I disagree. You know, they also could have had him discover another power, or had have the yeah. There's room to grow. There. Have the god give him something midway. Like yeah, to, that that would have been know. great. Now, but I don't think there's going to be a season two. I don't think they're really planning anything beyond this. At least it's a limited series. It, it might have been like it's so probably not going to. Be, they're probably not doing a season two. I, don't, I haven't heard. I don't think they're planning it. I think if they, I'm just talking out of my butt at this point. But if they, I think if they got really, really good ratings, they would. They'd have but to consider course. it. Yeah. But I, I don't think they're really planning it right now. Mm-hmm. But we'll see. All right, guys. So kind of a mixed review. Yeah, mixed review. I, mean, I think you know if you had nothing better to watch, it was. It, I, I enjoyed the series. Uh, but you got to go in, uh, you got to moderate your expectations going in just because it is more of a psychological story. Um, it's no Iron Man, that's all you need. No, to yeah, it isn't, it isn't. It just, or Loki. It's just not, yeah, it's not like the other Marvel entries. Um, but again, I thought that was a feature. These guys didn't. Well, guys, if you enjoyed this episode, you can see more of our episodes at alpha quadrant and the number six.com, and we will see you all next week. Mm-hmm.